Once you finally learn how to attract beautiful and attractive women, you need to know the five types of women you need to stay away from that are guaranteed to make you miserable. Look, we are living in the age of TikTok and Instagram, where anyone with a phone can become a relationship advisor, and most of them are just thirst traps out to bait the simps to pay for OnlyFans. If you want to have a healthy relationship with a beautiful, high-value woman, stare clear of these five types of women. Woman number one, the perfect one. If a woman seems too good to be true, she probably is. Most men are attracted to her perfect looks, her perfect personality, her perfect sense of humor. There is a charm, the way she dresses, talks, and behaves. Her friends admire her and guys want to be with her. You dream of whisking her away from all the other guys and building a perfect life with her. But you know why they say too good to be true, because that is the reality. No woman is perfect unless she makes you think so. She puts all that effort into making fools of guys like you to notice her. And she is too clever to let you sense that. And once you notice her and start dating her, reality hits you like a brick. That so-called woman will make your life miserable once you see her true colors. All the expectations you had would fall apart and you'd be left wondering what went wrong. But here is the tricky part. You may not realize that she is the flawed one since her image is too perfect in your head. In fact, you will start seeing yourself as the problem. You will think that you are not worthy enough to meet her perfection halfway and she will take advantage of your emotional weakness. She will use that as her weapon and she will manipulate you to constantly see herself as the problem. In no time, Taylor Swift's Anti-Hero will be your most played track on Spotify and your misery will look for a room to finally rest. Woman number two, the gold digger. You may want to be a gentleman and spend your money on your girlfriend, shower her with expensive gifts, and take her to fancy restaurants. But some women don't date you because they love you. They love your hard earned money. If they say that their love language is receiving gifts and going to expensive places is their vibe, know that in the future their love language will be robbing you of things that you have worked hard to achieve. A gold digger's mood will depend on how much you spend on her. She will be happy only when she is draining your pockets and she will not appreciate your presence in her life. She will not care how much you love her and she will only be with you as long as you give her your money. The problem with these women is that they are not really into you. The moment they sense another opportunity, they will leave you without a second thought. Take your notice here my brother and try not to be somebody's ATM. Woman number three, the mysterious one. This one can be very tricky. Mysterious women will disappear for days and then come back to your life with generic excuses like, sorry, something came up. And you buy those excuses because you think that she has nothing to hide. Since you are so in love, you try to see past her beauty and looks, but don't look for any loopholes in her story. If you could leave the sentiments behind, as a rational man would do, you would start noticing a pattern as to why she disappears on certain days for a certain time. And if that's the case, then the bad news for you is that she's double timing you. She is not serious about you, and you are just a side dude for her. You are not the only guy in her life, and that ring that you have your eyes on, you should forget about that, unless you are into self sabotaging. Woman number 4 the one with daddy issues. Some women come from broken homes with absentee or abusive fathers. While it is unfortunate for them, sometimes they develop the daddy issues condition. They have trust issues and abusive behaviors that can harm you both physically and mentally. The problem with these women is that they are very good at manipulation. Like what her absent father did to her, she will do the same with you by making you feel insecure or worthless about your existence. She will make you think that you are not good for her and that she is the real victim. And even if you sense something is wrong and question her about it, she will cry and gaslight you, telling you about her tragic past until she makes you feel like. And the tricky part is, you cannot even leave her easily because she will manipulate you into thinking that if you leave, 
you will ruin her mental health. Meanwhile, you become the victim of her messed up games. While you worry about her mental health, you forget about yours. You become a victim of emotional manipulation and the only monster you see in the story is you. So let go of the I can fix her fantasy and save yourself the trouble. Woman number 5. The pick me ones. There are women who try too much to fit into your life. They will go beyond measure to make you feel their presence. They will be in places where you least expect them because they are probably stalking you. But they will make it look like an accident and your idealistic self will see that as luck. What you completely miss is their hidden agendas that you are too naive to see. These women will praise you constantly, shower you with affection, mostly in public, and show you around like a prize. I'm not saying that a woman should not admire you, but the ones who try too hard and make a big deal out of everything have ulterior motives. Her agenda could be anything, money, work, and even marriage that you would not be into. Genuine women don't have a pick-me attitude. They show their affection, but they do not make a show out of it. Know the difference between real and fake, or throw yourself into a relationship where you will be nothing but a trophy on a shelf. So which of these women have you been seeing as your future wife? Don't worry, you still have time to save yourself from years of misery. Look for these traits and then choose your partner. If you want to save yourself, follow us for more. But if you have some humiliation kink, then stay miserable in your relationship. That is all for today. Show your appreciation in the comments, like and share with fellow prisoners of toxicity, and subscribe for more.